Hello and welcome back to Primetime here in beautiful Nashville. We are here in the Temper Sealy space. Scott Warlick, Brent Muse, how are you guys doing today? We are doing wonderful. How yeah, are you doing, Amy? I am doing fantastic. And especially I am fantastic because we have an amazing backdrop behind us. We have 18 new private label beds, right? right that's right. All right, yep. so let, let's just jump right into it because I know that you guys were just at market. Um, I wasn't able to be there, but I know that, you know, you talked with Rob Stott, we talked about the program, we talked about the partnership, but we weren't able to talk about the beds because they were not in Las Vegas. That's right, they're live here. They First time live. people have seen them is here at Primetime. All right, so we have Crown Jewel and Golden Elegance. Tell us a little bit about the lines. So we've been working on this line for over 14 months, Amy. We really wanted to make sure that we fine-tuned it and got it really ready for all of our retailers to see. So launching it here, we've known that our retailers have really been stressed under $1,000. There was a lot of pull forward demand back in 2021, 2022, but we think the back half of 2023, that customer under $1,000 is gonna come back and we're gonna have all of these SKUs, all 18 under $1,000, ready for our retailers to capture that customer. Oh my goodness, that's phenomenal. So now I know y'all are taking orders here for them. Correct. Right, okay, and these are only available to nationwide members. No one else in the industry can get these. That's correct. Crown Jewel and Golden Elegance are only available for nationwide retailers. And what are we expecting for ship times? When when will people start seeing these on their floors? We're looking at just a little bit after Labor Day, probably around uh, September 18th. Oh, great. They, they, they will start to land. Yeah. So, yeah. Really close. Definitely there in time for Columbus Day sales. <laughs> That's right. You nailed it. Yep, yep. And Black Friday, too. Yeah. So, yeah. Perfect. All right. So I, I, I couldn't contain my enthusiasm to talk about the beds, but let, let's take a step back. So okay. besides the new private label line, how are things going with Temper Sealy? Because y'all have a lot going on. <laughs> we, we, we do have a lot going on. It, it's going very well. We have seen, uh, while we talked about under $1,000 being a little stressed, Tempur-Pedic and Stearns and Foster are doing amazing. We've really beefed up our national advertising this year, and so that's driving a lot of consumers into the store. So it's really important that our nationwide retailers advertise those brands and obviously use all the services from nationwide financing, all of the brand assets that you guys do in digital platforms to make sure they push that premium product because uh, while units are stressed below, they are doing very well at the top end. Yeah, that's what uh, Jeff Rose was saying in the F&B merchandising sessions. We talked a little bit week. about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's, there's a lot of potential <laughs> available at those higher price points. Still. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. we love that. So now. You did talk about other assets and other opportunities that are mm -hmm. available. Of course, Ad Rocket co-op matching funds. What are some of these other promotions and specials that are available to members that they can take advantage of? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to let Brent comment on that because <laughs> I feel like I'm stealing all of the airtime. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Uh, so we have a lot of great things going on at the show. So obviously, like you said, we have Ad Rocket, we have your financing promotions, um, and then with our show specials, we're doing a lot of show specials on our adjustable bases and under a thousand dollars, trying to drum up that business, as Scott had mentioned. Uh, and then obviously we have cash back. So cash back is everybody loves cash back. So I love cash back on Tempur Pedic. <laughs> and Sealy and our private label lines. All right, so what means there anything else y'all are doing to support independent retailers? That really does sound like a, a full slate of support right there, but I, I have a feeling there might be one or two more tricks up your sleeve. Uh, you know what? This one is... We are really focusing on our private label launch here, yeah. so Crown Jewel, Golden Elegance, we've been waiting to launch this for two, three, four yeah. years at this point, so we're very excited to have that, and like I said, we have Ad Rocket and our show specials, so... Um, you know, that's that's really the thunder of the show. We have yeah. a custom t-shirt company here. If you're uh, looking for a Sealy branded t-shirt, prime time. Uh, got a lot of excitement going on we'll, here. We'll go there next, Amy. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was gonna say, yeah. But and, and of course, I'm sure that the private label beds are also part of the TSI Amplify program as well for a retailer who's really looking to redo their showroom mm -hmm. and have not just the beds, but the beds in the best possible light, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, we had that included with that. We also have our Encore private label line uh, in the booth behind us, which is included in the Amplify program. Um, and we're very excited about that as well. So Amplify has been taken off and dealers are seeing over a 20% increase year oh over year. Oh goodness. Um, so that program's taken off. And yeah, obviously if you're listening to this and you wanna come check us out, we'd love to talk to you about the program. Yeah, we've already had two people adopt it today. Yeah. So that's exciting. Really? That's, right. that's amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, so now, one of the issues that really kind of hit everybody hard over the last couple of years were supply chain issues. I mean, there's nothing you could really do about materials not being available. Are there any other fears or concerns or any other improvements that y'all have made or any other, I guess, you know, 
program enhancements or changes that you've made just to make sure that supply does remain stable, especially with a completely new product line relaunching? Yeah, great, great question, Amy. You know, we had, it seemed like, you know, coming out of 2020, we had a series of bad events happen with the weather issue down in Texas that knocked out a lot of the foam plants. Um, you know, there's been, you know, steel shortages, all, all of those kind of things. But r right now our plants are, are rocking and rolling. Uh, they're delivering product pretty fast. So, you know, People will say, do you have a crystal ball? Who knows what can happen, but as of right now, we've taken a lot of, you know, kind of things that we've done to make sure that doesn't happen again by, you know, we purchased tank farms, we've done things with chemicals to where we can house some of our own chemicals that we can pull from to build oh, our really? foam. Yeah, so we've done some exciting things in case there is another event. You know, hurricanes happen. We know how hot it is out there right now and how hot it is in the southeast. So. You know, hurricane season's approaching, that sort yeah. of thing. You never know what kind of bad events can happen, but we definitely always look at ways to get better, and we think we've, we've done that to get people product. All right, fantastic. Well, anything else as we kind of wrap up? You know, what advice would you have for members as they kind of lean into the back half of 2023, start looking at 2024? Well, how can they best partner with TSI and make sure that they are taking advantage of all the partnership opportunities that we have? Sure, great question. I would say, number one, we talked about it earlier, advertise the brands, promote the brands, promote your store to your customers. But if you have brands, no matter who they are, make sure you're selling the brands. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I would say is really elevate your in-store experience. We're seeing more customers in the consumer journey come into stores. Mm -hmm. um, we do things like brand walls with Stearns and Foster and tempur and just make sure, you know, the, your, your, the training things that you yeah, guys offer definitely. and work with us, I mean, you make sure you're taking advantage of those training programs, give a great in-store experience. That That's so very important. And like I said earlier, Focus on those premium brands because they are still selling. Units are still moving there. Uh, and jump onto the holidays. You know, we had for a while, we had a lot of consumers coming in during COVID. They were nesting. They were buying all during the year. But now you've got to make sure if you're a retailer, you really have to attack those holidays. Yeah. Advertise, promote, be out there, and uh, be aggressive. All right. Perfect. Scott, Brent, thank you very much yeah. for joining me today. Appreciate it. Thanks as Make always. Make sure you stay tuned. We've got a lot of great content coming here from Nashville.